Got the Pathfinder 2400 TRS. This thing has got 150,000, 20% off if you're at the boat show. Looks like you can have a draft of 14 inches. It's got a maximum of 350. This has got a 300 V6 on it. And nice, nice looking boat. Again, Pathfinder. Pathfinder makes a good boat. Got a bench seat in the back. A couple of live well on the side. Got the sea deck on the sides of the boat. Gunnel storage. Nice leaning post, rod holders, got the bucket seats. It's got a very solid dash, so it's pretty open. Do whatever you want. Looks like it's got DEC, Hellmaster EX on it. Pretty big console, so lots of storage there. The room in the front is really open. Seat right there, more seating up in the front. It's got the shade on it. That is super nice to have the shade coming out of the T-top. T-top's got a lot of stuff on it. You got the um, got the um, you know stuff in the front on the up in the T-top storage up there. A lot of people like to put a put a VHF up there. Here we've got another 300, very similar model. It's a, another 2400. This is the 2400 open. 14 inch draft, max 350. Only this one, I like the live well in the back and the center. That is way nicer, depending on what you want to do with it. So you got a live well right there, whereas the other one in the seat, you did not have a live well. And um, looks like there's another one right here though too. So you got two live wells. Dash is gonna be very similar. I like this color too. So well, that might be some kind of a tackle center there the console seems to be a little bit smaller so you kind of got more room down the sides of the gunnels which is super nice and it's got the key west tower the half tower climb up on the sides here that's nice having the two stations get you up on the top so you can see down in the water it makes a big difference when you're out there fishing trying to look down bow is open no trolling motor but um pretty nice this thing is going to run you 182,000, 20% off if you're here at the boat show. And then we've got, here's the HPS. So these are the real bay boats here. So same thing, here's the 2300 HPS. These are super nice, slick boats. This thing is gonna run you 134,000, 106 at the show, 2300 HPS, got, um, what is it? The maximum horsepower is a 300, 3,000 pounds. I like this color. I like how they've got the hole in the deck, the same color that looks really, really clean. And I love how open and flat it is up here. These going down the sides. Got a step there so you can watch that, but lights, blue lights all along the side. And this is an interesting rod storage on the side of the console too. They're not like, the regular rod holder so that one probably hold up a little bit better since it's just one solid starboard piece it's not really you know the ones that are on the side like you know this one over here has got a t-top but this is not an hps but most of them have the plastic ones on the side of the console this one's got straight starboard built rod holders that's nice looks like it's got a 300 on the back got two power poles i'm surprised that it does not have a trolling motor on it but I like the HPS because of how small the console is so in this tons of room to be walking around fighting fish running around you can have two people pass each other right here on the sides which makes it really nice a little bench seat for when you're running in leaning post I do like that console is pretty interesting it's nice got like a bubble there and then the top of it's kind of open for your GPS. Pretty nice. Two cup holders there. I like that. Here is the 2200. Got a show V Max. Very similar to the HPS, but a little bit different. Leaning posts, cooler underneath, seats in the back. Console is basically the same, only here we've got a T top 
opposed to no t-top right here same thing very open i do like the blue way way more than this white i mean the white looks good but that blue is just fresh here we got 77,000 though and this one's only 97,000 max 250 22 footer very very nice Got a 222 Fisherman well craft. Looks like it's coming in at 89,000 here at the boat shows. So just under 90 grand. Looks like we're powered. Look at the ladder over here. I like that four rung coming off the back. Kind of classy. That metal sticking up like that. It is got a V6 200 Mercury on the back. Lots of room. A lot of these well crafts have a lot of room on the back to get up in here to the transom. Bench seat in the back. Live well in the corner, and then leaning post rod holders. Uh, lots of rod, rod holders and stuff on lights, speakers up on the T-top. Looks like there is a spot to hold a cooler, but uh, no cooler there. Dash is pretty plain, ready for you to do whatever you want with it. This is toggle switches, all flipping up and down. All like this clean black gel coat. Catch all C deck thing right here, throw your phone keys, all that stuff up there. And then coming into the front, the bow backrests, seating all the way around, cup holders and compartments, and nice access to get into the console. 243 Fisherman coming in at 160,000 boat show price. Got a Yamaha F300 V6 4.2 liter. Like the back of it, very open, got a lot of space for you coming in. I like this like second thing that's filled it in so where it's all non-skidded, I do like that. We got a cooler underneath the leaning post with a handlebar, little storage compartment right there for tackle stuff. You got two live walls on both sides of the back of the transom. And then the seat right here, got a pop-up seat so you can sit there, kind of get, get in the cooler, get your bait. On the gunnel here, coming up to the dash, got two Garmin's, push button switches going all the way across. Uh, and then normal bucket seats here on the console with, or leaning post with bolster seats. Up here in the bow, looks like we got a windlass. We've got two backrests to allow you to look forward and ride there. Handlebars on the side, nice windlass. And then the seat on the leaning post. Oh, and it looks like there's a thing right here so you can put a table up here and have a table up here in the bow. Now we got the 222cc Blackfin. Looks like it's $109,000 here at Bow Show Price. Looks like we've got a Mercury 250 on the back. Like the setup here in the back, really open. Rod holders across the back. Cushion seat all the way across the back, I'm not sure. Another cooler right there. I don't know if there's a live wall here or what this is. So yep, you got your live wall in the back corner. That's real nice. Coming up to the dash, we've got GPS here. Your vessel view right there. Rocker switches all the way across, really labeled, really nice, like that. The leaning post bolsters kind of flip up, flip down, turn into a seat versus a leaning post. And the bow has two backs, so you can sit two people there, kind of lean back, kind of comfortably. Two cup holders on the back, so you could probably also fit two more people right here. Take a look inside the console here, see what we're looking like. Got a porta potty down there, so that's nice. And the wiring looks really clean as well. Here's the 231, so SX, SVX 231, 5000 compared to 117. Got the single 300 Yamaha, 4.2 liter. Very similar, like tow bar in the back. No table. I do like that table. The table on the other one is pretty sick. This one you got a live wheel. This is more like center console fishing type deal. So we got live wheel back here with the aquarium top cooler below. Leaning post, center console. Pretty plain. This normal rocker switches. Nice sports wheel. Hellmaster EX control box. Really open, boxy front, kind of like that deck boat style. So 
If you're into entertaining, this is probably the style right here. Entertainingly, you know, you can get a lot of people on here, but yeah, you can still kind of fish out here. Cup holders on the side, that's pretty nice. I do like that. Seat pops up here in the back. Again, another nice feature. Stingray 216 CC looks like it's coming in at 65,000, just under 70 grand here at the boat show. Got a nice, like, it's not a seafoam green, but like a lighter seafoam type of green color. The back is very similar to the other one. Got the ladder here that comes out the back. I like how open it is in the back and you've got a lot of walking area. So that means getting in and out of the boat really nice. Looks like it's got a Yamaha F-150, but it's gonna be a mechanical, not digital. And two seats here on the bottom, as well as a cooler underneath the leaning post. Nice walk through all the way up into here. Nothing as far as GPS goes rocker switches for the controls so we got rocker switches there regular yamaha control box hydraulic steering and then the bow has got um just like a little sink so you got a little wet wet sink there that's nice and then um the bow of the boat two loungers side by side as well as a seat in the front of the console with a couple cup holders there and like a little bar area that you can prepare stuff Got the 23 regulator here. Looks like it is starting out at 199,000. Boat show, we're ending up at 249,000. Kind of hard to get that in there. Looks like we've got twin Yamaha. I don't know if these are, I'm not sure what these are on the back of this thing. These are probably 200s, maybe? Nope. 150s so we got twin 150s with the des digital electronic steering uh, nice pass through right here to get into the boat we've got seating right here we've got a cooler here actually no cooler but tackle storage tons of rod holders and um you know place to hang all your hooks and tools and stuff like that live well back here i'm pretty sure that this is also going to be a, a uh, live wheel in here as well just because all the rest of the regulators have that this one is a lot different the console is um, way different it does not it's just got one gps flush mounted in the front um, with the yamaha gauge over there to the side we've got this is the flush mounted black acrylic i love this thing right here the way this looks all the push button digital switches or not digital but push button switches for controlling of the boat and then the Helm Master EX control box, not a whole lot there. Again, smaller boat. This is just the inside of the center console, battery, all that, battery switch, all that. Then coming back here to the, or up here to the front, we've got the bow, just seating all the way around. No um, seats that fold up to the back, or so you got loungers. That's the only difference here, but again, this is 23, it's a little bit smaller, so way different than all the rest of these regulators. Cooler or storage down in there, armrest pop down, seating in the console. Got the Robalo R232EX coming in at $102,000. Here at the boat show, we got a Yamaha 250 show on the back. You come up, looks like the trailer is included. Come up on the back, this whole back is gonna be a seat all the way across it, but you can flip these up or down so you can stand back here. And then you've also got a cooler underneath the leaning post Coming down in here, all of the switches are colored push buttons down the sides. Looks like you got the Yamaha gauge there in the middle and then an open space for a GPS, whichever one you want to put in there. This one actually has bolsters in it, so these will flip down or flip up so you can have it as a seat or a leaning post. And then the bow is going to be circular with the backrest, so you can kind of lounge up here in the front. Two cup holders in the back and then also a seat in the front of the console. Got a Robalo R230. This one's at 108,000. We got another 250 show, but this one has actually been painted up, so it looks a lot different. Got the white coloring all the way around it. Looks really, really clean. Back spot, you got your ladder here. Come in here. Looks like this flips up. Got a walk through to get in here, and I'm not sure what exactly that flips up. It's probably just to let that seat out and you can get access in there. We've got a live well here on the back corner of the boat. 
Also got a cooler underneath the leaning posts, four rod holders on the leaning posts. We've also got more rod holders up there on the T-top. It is a hard top dash push buttons for all of your controls. We've got a phone charger right there. And then looks like um, regular mechanical controls for the engine. You got the dash ready for whatever GPS you want to put in there. We've also got this nice compartment right here so you can put stuff down in here, kind of a catch-all. Coming up to the bow, I like the blue and white on the cushions, that's a nice color. Backrest, circular bow, and then cushions all the way around it. We've got a, another seat here in the front of the boat. Looking at the 215X from Scout. Look at this engine right here. Super close to the wall. Got 200 Mercury V6 on it. Coming in here. Um, got a seat pops out the back there. Little live well here in the back corner. Got the ladder to the back. A three rung ladder. Cooler underneath the leaning post. Rod holders right there. Nice, nice little acrylic dash. It's all kind of set in here. Looks like this for the XSF215 is 124,000, but the looks like the boat shows 109,000 for this. I like the C zone type of buttons here for all of your controls and that kind of stuff. C star, I'm not sure what the what this thing is. Look at like trim tabs, I guess, and bolster seats that flip up on the leaning post, nice. Come up here to the front, we've got a cup holder right there, a backrest that will come out, bow open, goes all the way around, and then got the console here with a nice lounge area there on the console. So here we got a 23, 23cc, a 300 on the back, so a reef runner, 23, comes with a sea keeper. They make a really nice boat. I do like a reef runner. Really open in the back. Um, got a lot of seats right here, bucket seats, live well in the seats. Console's looking really good. Mercury controls, got the phone charger right there. That's pretty slick. Again, the front open, pretty pretty open center console. One seat over. T-top. Looks like this thing's got FLIR. Got a camera in the front. It's not FLIR, maybe a different brand. But come over here and take a look at some of the specs of it. Looks like we've got... 23 open. Hundred and forty two thousand. Yeah. So we got a hundred and forty two thousand for the twenty three. It's a nice boat. Now we got the the two fourteen CC. This one's gonna come up with a two hundred Pro XS in at eighty seven thousand. Um, again, really nice Pro XS six cylinder Mercury V six. So in this one, a lot bigger, totally different boat. Seating all the way across the back. Live well underneath there, leaning post cooler, Garmin, got a VHF in there, radio, fusion radio, and you're gonna have space to add another GPS if you wanted. A lot more seating up here in the front as well. So you've got all this seating up here, more storage, but this is definitely a bigger boat. It's a 21, so definitely a lot more of a boat for 87,000. Here we've got a Carolina Skiff. This is a 24. Um, 45 grand, 24 footer. It's got a max of a 150 on it. Pretty sure that's what's on there right now. Yep, yeah, it's got a 150 on the boat. Nice clean boat, Carolina Skiff, normal deal, completely open and um, pretty customizable, whatever you want to put in here. Got the rod holders on the side, that's pretty nice for your rod storage. Not really any rod holders around the boat other than that but normal carolina skiff completely open not a whole lot to them dash looks nice do you like that nice clean got the like chip type 
paint stuff in them. And then over here, we got a 21. It's very similar, basically the same boat, only a 21 opposed to the 24, 21. This one is about six grand cheaper, so 39,000 for 21. Max horsepower is a 140. So it looks like we've got a 140 on there, Suzuki, nice looking boat. Here over to the center console model. This one is nice. We got a 250 horsepower on it and seats. Not sure. These seats must be the bow seats. Those things pop up. That's pretty nice how the back, you got three seats that pop up. Live well there in the middle. Dash is pretty blank. 83,000. And this one, 250 is the max. It's 23 footer. Dash is pretty open. So you can pretty much do whatever you want with the dash. So if you want whatever electronics you want, you can put on there. It's got a nice blue color to it, blue green. Console inside the console looks pretty nice too. Let's see if I can get in there to take a look. Mm -hmm. A couple speakers, got a table up here in the front. And you got some, looks like some power stuff right there. So you get some DC power up in the front of the boat. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. it's Carolina Skiff 24. I do like this greenish color. A couple compartments right there. Looks nice. Seating up front. There's a lot of seating in this boat. Get your seat rest here. I'm not too sure what the um, seats in the back are for. I don't think they go to this boat. I think these must go to a different boat or something. Or, oh, there's a seat right there. So you can like sit in the back and fish off the back. These things fold down, give you all that deck space. So that's pretty nice. Speakers on the side. So here we've got the, what we got in the back of here? 200. So we've got a 200 on Carolina Skiff 22, another center console. I do like how these things fold down in the back back here and you get this like deck space and then you've got that chair in the back. That's pretty nice. So this one is going to run you about $73,000. Um, again, it's a 21 max 200 horsepower, 21 feet. Again, dash is pretty open. Not a whole lot going on there. Same. The inside is going to look very similar to the other one. Everything's about the same. You even got the table on this one too. So you can put the table there. And my guess is that that chair there will fit somewhere in the front of the bow. Blue, got a nice color blue on it. So that's definitely nice. Then here we've got, see now those, so those are like more of a DB center console. And here we've got like a flat bottom boat. So this is like a flat bottom and totally open. Again, fighting chair in the front, a couple speakers down there, lots of space in the deck right here. We've got center console. Pretty open, pretty clean, I like that. Let's see if I can't zoom in on it. Pretty nice, pretty clean, not a whole lot to it. Dash. Dash looks pretty good. What's this one gonna run you? So this is gonna run you 63,000. Max horsepower is a 250, 24 footer. Cooler under the seat, that's pretty nice. Back here, the same, very similar design on all these Carolina skiffs where you got these back seats that fold down. This one does not have a fighting chair in the back though. This one's got a live well back here, it appears. 
got bilge access right there. So Carolina 25 is what they're calling this one. 24 footer. I got a 250 on the back. Yep, 250. That's pretty nice. Very similar model, pretty much a 21, same boat. This one's got a 150 on the back of it, which is pretty sweet. Same thing, like a live well or something back here. Access, um, seats pop, flip up. Console's pretty plain, pop in there. Clarion stereo, analog gauges, tilt helm. Ooh, I like that. Look at the back of this thing. It's got a sunshade on the chair. That's pretty nice. I mean, if you're sitting there, I mean, if you're fishing, obviously that might get in the way, but I'm sure you can fish around that, get up on the front and cast, and then be able to sit down and kind of be in the shade a little bit, depending on what you're trying to work. Ooh, look at the console on this one. So the console opens up in the front. So that's interesting. You see that? Here's your hatch right there. So that thing hinges right here. So you see those hinges? So that thing is going to flip up, which is interesting. Hmm. Oh, that's because that's the head. So that'll flip up and that is your head in there for your toilet. That's pretty sweet. Nice feature there. And this one is going to run you, ooh, 41,900. That's not too bad. 175 is the max. This one's got the 150 on it. Here is the Sea Chaser. I'm not sure what model this one is, but it's a lot, it's a little bit, it's a lot smaller. Same thing, DV Sea Chaser. We got a Suzuki 200 on the back of this thing. And, um, Live well on the side here, seat, bench seat across the back, leaning post. This thing is going to run you 73,000, 250 horsepower, 21 footer. So this is a Sea Chaser 21. And let me guess, oh no, this one's different. So this one does not have a um, room to get up there and open that up for the head. A lot more seating in the front, pretty open bow. Very nice. Now we've got the twin engine models over here. So this has got twin 140s on it. Twin 140s. This is a Sea Chaser. What we got here? We got 93,350 horsepower max. So you could put twin 175s on here or a single 350. I'm sure it performs better with the twins than it does with the single. Um, in the back, same thing. You got a live well over there on the end. Go over there and take a look at that live well. So we've got a nice live well right here. Inside leaning post, nice bench seat over the side of it. Got a door right here to get into the side. Console's pretty nice. Pretty plain. Lots of seating up front. Got the backrest right here. Those are nice. Here we got the open 232 Sportsman. Got 159,116 at the show. Got a max of 300 horsepower. This one has a 4.2 liter V6. Go up here and take a look. Walk through transom door. Got a nice live well in the back, which that's pretty nice because it's got that aquarium style. Live well in the back back there. We've got leaning post, cooler, cooler slide out over here so you can slide your cooler out. Dash, Yamaha EX. Again, everybody loves these flush mounts. Looking real fresh, getting fingerprints all over there. Bow's got a nice amount of seating, so super white, super bright. Let's take a look inside the console. Mm. 
batteries. Heritage 231. 180,000, 131, max 300. This thing's actually got a V6 300 on it. Oh, look at the live well in the floor there. Small live well, but still pretty sick. Two of them on here, one over there. Very similar. Same boat. Just a little bit bigger. Twins. Got a window. Here the dash. Pretty sweet. Like those little compartments. Now as far as drains go. So if you look in here, there's all your rigging, stereo, two amps. Then you got these drains up here, drain those compartments. Here we have the Grady White 231 CE. Looks like $163,700. Got a power pole and a single Yamaha F250 V6 on the back of it. Um, it's got this nice like blue grayish color. Looks really clean. The bow is pretty open. The back of it, actually it's got two power poles. Sorry, I missed that second one there, but we got two seats in the back, probably a live wheel underneath the one of them. Bench seat across here. Dash looks really clean. There's a spot for another GPS if you want. We got rocker switches across the top here and the Yamaha gauge in the middle. Up here in the bow, we've got the two seats that like flip up so you make them like loungers. That seems to be a really common thing on a lot of boats now. One seat here in front of the center console. And then over here, we've got a similar model, just a little bit different one. This one is going to be the Grady White. Um, let me see here. It is the Fisherman 236. Looks like $170,300 for this one. This one looks like it was in a tournament or something. It's got a wrap on it. Got a F300 V6 with a four rung ladder in the back. I do love a four rung ladder. Got a transom door there to get in to the boat. But yeah, we got this wrap on here, a pink wrap. So maybe this was a donation boat or something like that. This one's going to be set up more for fishing. We got an open bow similar to the other boat, but the console is a lot more decked out. We got a phone charger there, radio controls, a larger GPS, uh, center console leaning post here, and then the live well in the back with a bench seat that is going to flip up. So we're going to have a larger live well here in order to, you know, be set up more for fishing opposed to the CE model that we just looked at.